This is the TV news for Tuesday, October 26th. Let's begin with the new media, new marketing report. Netflix has made a very self-evident but major announcement that should be heeded by the entire TV industry. This announcement reinforces just how nimble and market-driven new media is as compared with traditional media. Well, with us now is ComBridges.com's John Leland, who can explain the far-reaching scope of this anything but ordinary, yet ordinary Netflix announcement. John. <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? Yeah, ordinary in the sense that uh, the more things change, it's very tough to keep track of how fast they're changing. I mean, it's just the acceleration of not just new media, but the morphing of the entire new media and the media environment is just uh, mind-boggling. Uh, I want to underscore just two new statistics that have come out in the last week. One is from uh, a research company called Say Media that is reporting that uh, there are about 56 million Americans, or one-third of the overall adult viewing population, who are now either time-shifting or watching video on the web versus watching it over conventional TV and cable. Um, you know, obviously it has a bottom line impact in terms of advertisers that even more and more people are time shifting. Um, and it also underscores the fact that more and more really premium content is being delivered uh, via the internet rather than via traditional TV channels. And that leads us to the Netflix story that you were talking about. Um, the Netflix CEO, Reed Hastings, had a press conference and talked about really the remarkable growth of that company. But the real story wasn't just the growth of Netflix, but the growth of Netflix as a streaming company. The numbers are year over year that last year there were 41% of uh, Net Netflix's subscribers who were using their streaming service. They called the Instant Watch. And uh, that number has jumped in the last year by 25%. I'm not talking about a 25% increase. It went from 41% to 66%. And they say that in the next quarter, you know, a majority of the Netflix subscribers will be watching more video via streaming than via their old conventional, which was the new conventional um, system of DVD mailers. That really, to me, underscores not just the growth of streaming video content delivery, but a whole earthquake, quantum shift, paradigm shift, however you want to call it, of more, that there's going to be a lot more cord cutting, much faster than anybody, including myself, thought. Uh, the media universe is moving online. It's moving to Internet distribution. Um, and online video as a promotional channel has become more and more significant. I want to point people to a blog post and a YouTube video that I did recently about why video is now a must-have for Internet marketers. And I want to extend that into the TV broadcaster production community because the delivery of programming via Internet services is really uh, reinventing the whole media space. It's changing and morphing dramatically and the pace is accelerating. And I think it's more than most people realize. Okay. Um, do you have a, a, a site you wanted to direct us to that? that Combridges.com slash blog is where my blog posts are. So combridges.com slash blog. Thanks. Sure, John. And we thank you. And things are moving faster than any of us anticipated. And we will see you next week. Well, file this next story under, you just had to do it, didn't you? Well, due to the continued impasse between Fox and Cablevision, and on the eve of the beginning of the World Series, which, as of right now, will not be seen in 3 million plus New York metropolitan area Cablevision homes, the FCC has stepped in and has requested each party to submit written justification of their positions in the ongoing stalemate. Now, meanwhile, Fox has picked up the banner in telling anyone who will listen that Cablevision should begin to rebate money back to their subscribers in light of no Fox programming delivery. Sounds like shades of the TVnews.tv's PR maven, Arthur Sando. 
future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. To reach the decision makers in the TV and new media industries with your message, and do it in video, become a sponsor of the TV News. Now to get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the TV news TV. In now less than three months, the Nappy Market and Conference happens at the Fontainebleau Resort in beautiful Miami Beach. Perhaps you can meet someone very, very special like Miss Jill Masterson. For registration and information, log on to nappymarket.com. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. Tomorrow, another fresh edition with our regular Wednesday feature, The Programming Pulse with Susan Hibben. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.